All right, if you are crazy like me with a lot of ideas bouncing around all over your head and you need a place to organize it and structure all of those crazy thoughts and you wanna check out this app, Walling. This is where you can organize all of your ideas, jot down notes, structure all of your thoughts into different walls and bricks. And we're gonna look into exactly what that is in this video, so don't miss out. My name is June K. Lee and I am a agency owner and a SaaS lover. So I play around with a lot of different SaaS platforms and I test them out in my free time and I started doing reviews. So if you want to see more SaaS reviews, make sure to subscribe and like my channel. And if you have any suggestions for platforms to look at, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Let's check it out. All right, I am on the Walling app site. Um, that's walling.app. W-A-L-L-I-N-G dot A-P-P. And we see here it says, capture and organize your ideas in one place. That's exactly what this is. Uh, it's as simple as that. They don't try to overcomplicate things. Uh, we'll see it as we test the app together. Um, the site, very simple. It kind of reminds me of Notion. Uh, the colors, the way everything is structured, and you'll see, I, you might feel the same way when you see the actual app. There's a video here showing how to use it. We saw earlier this crazy um, uh, a mind map or something. Let me go back to that. Here we go. So this is very cool looking. Uh, we're gonna see what this actually is in a second. It's called Connect uh, and what they're referring to. Let's go to the actual app. So here we have the app open. As you can see here, I'm no longer in Chrome. Uh, the reason for that is because uh, this is another app that I've came across re recently called Stack, and I'll do another video on that later and leave a video, uh, leave a link below in the description. Basically, it's a container for all of your, you know, work apps, browsers, uh, or your, you know, your leisure, your fun time, uh, and you can separate them in different workspaces. But I won't go into detail here. Um, and we open up the app. I'm logged in. Uh, and we start with a daily desk. Uh, before we do the daily desk, let's go into the welcome uh, workspace or the welcome wall because they will give us a better understanding of how this works. How can Walling help me? Uh, if you're already on here, you probably know uh, or you probably know why you bought it, but um, it's a tool to organize your information. Uh, to put it a little more simply, uh, Walling helps you unload your ideas, jot down notes, and save bookmarks frequently, uh, frictionlessly. And it connects all those ideas with uh, so, so a certain thing called nodes. Uh, so what are nodes? Um, and that's part of the connect feature that we just saw earlier. Connect is where all your nodes and ideas exist and chain with each other. Use the advanced filtering like and, or, and, and, not to explore the potential ideas and information. Use the nodes graph to get a big picture of how your ideas connect together. So um, I don't know if I'm just not I, I don't I don't know how often I would use this, um, but anyway, what nodes are are I think they work like tags, uh, and let's let's try it out first. So if we go to the daily desk, this is the first thing that'll show up. And if you if you use anything like Todoist before, uh, they have an inbox feature, um, and that's where I usually put in all of my tasks when I'm on the run or if I'm too busy to organize them and, and tag them or put them into specific projects or folders. Uh, I think this will work the same way. Daily Desk is, you know, just all your ideas for today. Uh, to add a idea, you saw, well, I don't know if you saw, but I double clicked and you can add one. You can also go to New Brick. So th these cards that you see here, we can add another one here. They're called bricks. Uh, I think that's very cool because of the name of their app, which is Walling, and each project workspace is considered a wall. Uh, and you know, we can jot down ideas. Let's see what I have. Okay, I have my agency website pasted. It'll show up a preview. Uh, maybe it's loading, and we can add in a title tag um, and some text. Okay, uh, and, and I forgot to add the node. So if you click this round button, you can it says you can add a node. And I created a new node, agencies. Uh, let's see here. We put in the title and a link. 
Or maybe we have to copy and paste it. Yeah, there we go. And you can also put in um, checklists. So if it's an idea that you know has a couple of subtasks that you have to finish, you can add in the checklist, mark them off as you go. Oh, that's very cool. So it has the percentage completed uh, and it'll show you which tasks you have done. Um, kind of overlaps with, because I'm using Todoist and I also use Note, Notion, but I don't use Notion as a uh, task management tool. I use it for note taking, uh, organizing all my notes. Um, so I probably wouldn't use this feature, but it's actually nice to have anyway, because it might be something very small or uh, maybe uh, it's an ebook or a long, long form blog post. And there's certain sections I want to check out. Uh, you can use it any way you want. Resolve brick. Uh, we've already added the nodes. Resolve brick, I think, is referring to, you know, maybe you've completed the specific idea on this brick. Let's click it and it's removed. It's resolved. And we have another section showing now of, of resolved uh, within this, in this wall, uh, the today wall. Let's try creating a new wall called another brick. And we'll add another brick in a wall. Um, let's see. And we can add in another link. Ah, so here I can just type it in. And we get another brick. And within the walls now, we have sections. So we can add new sections, as many sections as you like, and you can organize uh, the ideas within that wall into specific sections. Uh, for me, uh, I haven't fully moved over. I'm still um, organizing all the stuff I have on my Notion now. Um, which is where I've been jotting down my notes uh, and my bookmarks. Uh, I've been putting into my Notion. So right now I only have a few folders that I've been uh, testing out walling with. Uh, for my agency, I'm doing some influencer marketing for a specific client. So I've been gathering down all of their the YouTube information uh, into specific bricks there. So I would have, you can break it up however you want. Uh, I'm going to be doing walls by, you know, certain features or certain uh, ideas or, uh, or certain services. And then I would have sections within that page as well. And with the sections also, we saw earlier, we can resolve the bricks. We can resolve the sections. So if I'm completed, if I've completed, for example, if I was here, I have a, YouTube influencer list. Uh, maybe it can be a task list that might make more sense. Uh, but when I'm done with it, I can click resolve and I will have it in the resolve section somewhere, which I don't see right now, but maybe it's in the archive. Um, and then if we go back to the welcome page or the welcome wall, um, they have the explanation here. And before you get started, I suggest you try out the basics here. It's a quick task list of what to do. Uh, I think it'll help because it'll give you a better understanding of how to use walling. Uh, I haven't done it yet, I'll be honest, because I, I didn't have time and I just wanted to try it fast. Uh, and then they have next steps, uh, uh, different ways to use it. Uh, again, like for example, the connect page, I really, I'm really not sure how to use this yet. Um, but as, as you build or as I build more and more ideas, I'm sure that the nodes and the connections and all the bricks or the walls within those nodes uh, will show up and be as cool as the video we saw on the main page, on their homepage. Uh, I think that's it for now. Um, don't forget that Walling has their own uh, Facebook group. So if you have Facebook and you're trying to connect with other Wallers, as they call it, uh, Wallers are users of Walling. It's a growing group. Uh, Walling just, you know, I think they started recently. And the monthly price is not too expensive. It's about $4 a month which I think is similar to Notion, but last I heard, Walling may be increasing their monthly prices, so try to get in now when you can. And they've also had a lifetime deal going on. Um, if it's still live, it'll be, I'll have the link down in my description below and you can check that out. And finally, lastly, if you are a dark mode kind of guy or girl, I am. So they have the dark mode option, which is very cool. Uh, if you're working late nights with all the lights off like I do, uh, and they have, it looks like they have apps. 
uh, I haven't downloaded them because I like to, I want to use it inside of my stack uh, so that because I get a lot of links and I'm working inside of here most of the time anyway uh, but I'm waiting for their mobile app because as I mentioned earlier with my Todoist or some other project management tools I have I am usually uh, throwing my ideas into the today or the inbox or uh, in this case daily desk so that I can organize them later um, so I'm hoping that it comes out soon uh, but other than that I think that's about it as you can tell it's very simple easy to use beautiful UI UX and it's not over complicated but it will definitely help uh, it'll definitely help me I think there's a lot of people out there that can benefit from using something like this instead of just using simple uh, Chrome bookmarks, but Chrome bookmarks are are good for other reasons as well. Sure.